Today we're with our friends at Snell Motors, Buick GMC Cadillac dealer in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. All right, so we are off on a ride here. This is the again the Buick Enclave Avenir Edition, and it's the 2019. Wow, I feel like I'm driving a cloud. You know, it it it, it feels solid when you get in it. It feels you know that I mean just it feels well planted. I mean it's it does. It, I don't know what the curb weight on this is, but. Um, it does feel well planted on the road, and it's so quiet. I mean, we're that's not, just because you quit talking yet. for a minute. We're not on the highway yet, but it is very quiet, very serene in here. Did you start the engine yet? <laughs> so we're moving. I didn't think we we're going to shoot. EV. I thought we. I thought you know. I thought no, was no EV here. So you know, one of the things I like about this is the captain's chairs in the second row. And uh, that, that is how it comes. You don't get a bench seat. Uh, but I like that. I, I think SUV should standard should have captain's chairs <laughs> in the uh, second row and let people option to get bench seats. Right. Just, um, well, one of the things, too, you're talking about the interior is that uh, we should mention is uh, when this was first introduced uh, a year or so ago, you could only get one color interior, and that yes. was kind of like the camel brown. Right. And there was no other choice in the Avenir trim line. Well, now you can You notice get, this is not. Right. You can get the black interior. And, you know, I'm a fan of both, uh, so I wouldn't be turned off if, if it was the camel brown because I think it's a nice No, contrast. it actually looked, I thought it looked nice. Well, especially this is, a, you'll see it later, this is a white vehicle. So I, I, I really do like the contrast. However, the the black is absolutely beautiful, too. It's very well fitted. This, is, this has an auto start stop? Um, yes, it no, does. No, I had to do it on my own. <laughs> I don't. I, I think it does. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it does. Look at look, oh. look at your RPM gauge. Oh, I don't know oh, where the yeah, button. Says, I know where the button it says is. Auto stop on it there. Yeah. Now we've okay. uh, we've discovered that most vehicles with auto start stop, such as in Hondas and Toyotas and those kinds of things, you can. There it turn, goes. It did turn off. You can turn that feature off with uh -huh. a button, but like some of the other cars we've done, like the Blazer. That one you can't. So I don't know on this one if you can turn it off, on or off or not. We'll have to look that up and we'll put yeah. that in the description uh, below. But you know, you asked me a minute ago and it was so like there, I didn't even feel it. I, I didn't even know, and I'm driving it. I didn't know if it had stopped and st auto started. It was no, you can't feel. You can't feel seamless. it. You can feel it turn on, but you can't feel it turn off. I love the, we'll show you this later, the digital rear view mirror. Yeah, so that, should, that, that should be now. standard so in every cool. car, man. That it is, is just... so cool. Wow. All right, so as we get down the highway, Rob, if you have to, if you had to pick three things out of all the cars we review, it doesn't matter what brand they are, irrelevant, but what features would you absolutely want in the next car that you would look for? And I want my car to have this, this, and this. Two or three features. Um, I love the dynamic cruise control. Okay. Um, you put me on the spot here. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, this they don't have it, and I don't know if I would demand that it must have it, but this uh, rear digital. view camera, digital rear view inside mirror, it's actually a camera out back. Toothpaste holder, whatever you want to that. call it. <laughs> I would love to have that. Um, and, you know, the other thing is, I, I think I just look for uh, the safety suite uh, features of the uh, uh, the collision avoidance, the auto braking, the cross traffic. You know, that they usually put those in a package. So I'm right. kind of saying those as, as a group. Yeah. What about you? Uh, you know, you I, I would do adaptive cruise control. I would do the safety suite, and I would do a heated steering wheel. Oh, that's right. You know how much I love the heated steering wheel. This has it. And that's I assuming it. it had heated seats. It's uh, 65 degrees or something like that outside, but I'm still turning on the heated steering wheel because I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, this is, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is quiet. What? I, I, it's, huh? What? If only Nathan were a Buick Avenir. <laughs> 
It too would be quiet. Rob wouldn't know what to do then. I like this. My, I, I've got my feet stretched out, and I can't. In order for me to touch the 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 end of my foot area, I have to stretch my toes. My feet have to go flat out. My hands are warm. I'm sure they are. You got that heat of street wheel on. All right, so I'm going to move my seat forward a little bit. Oh, so good. Nice. Now I can finally touch the, the end wall. Oh, boy. This is very comfortable. Wow. I, I, this is perfect. I love the, look, the little notch here for your thumbs. Just comfortably lay it out there as an extra little bit. Yeah. I like those. I mean, I don't usually drive, I usually drive this, but if I am driving up here, it's nice to be able to, instead of uh, them just flopping. Like this also has a, wood, uh, a wooden part of the street wheel. Well, the top with the avenue trim. A whole suite of safety features. Now, the one thing I would wireless say... Wireless phone charger. Oh, yeah. The only thing I would say is about the trim, the wood trim, is a lot of the... Oh, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Say that again. The only thing I would <laughs> say... <laughs> I, I got it now. Uh, a lot of the other competitors in this market on the wood trim they've gone to a matte or a natural looking finish this still has the kind of typical general motors gloss to it i really think they could um kick it up a notch by going with a matte or satin finish or just a natural finish to, to show you kind of the open pore wood what do you oh think? sure sure it's you know, a little too glossy for me there's enough shining in here that it, with the chrome accents that I think if they went with the natural finish on the wood would really, right. would really uh, kick it up. The, the, the only thing that would bother me, um, I mean, the open pour, you know, natural, natural, that kind of stuff, it's nice when you get in the car and you see it. Right. Um, but to be honest with me, I don't really care about the wood trim. I mean, it's... Right. It, it is what it is. It's just a piece of trim. I'd much, you know, for me, I'm, just, I'm much more concerned about other things in the car. So I wouldn't care that it had that or it looked a certain way. I'd probably notice if it had the wood pour going, okay, yeah, this has, you know. So um, if it did not have an entertainment screen and glossy wood. I wouldn't even look at the or car. Or if it had natural finished wood and an infotainment screen with push button everything. Mm -hmm. Which car would you take, Nathan? Uh, the one with the push button infotainment <laughs> screen. I don't care if it has the wheels on wood. it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter. Those seven things are... You know, the, the only thing I can comment on about that is the finish that's on there. It is shiny. Yeah. And it, it, um, if you watch our Regal Drive, our Regal Tour X Drive, um, on the Chrome Shift area, around the shift handle it is bright and it, when the sunlight hits it it's a it, so that's and i don't know what this would be like because this is dark right and there's and very little have a, a front sunroof and a rear sunroof so with this top panel open i imagine the sun would shine and reflect on that uh so I, you know it's just one less reflective point in the car that i think would would look better if it were more of a satin or a natural that, that I can agree with. I, I think a satin finish would be... Would That's be all I wanted. Just say you agree and shut up. Nope. <laughs> I knew I could reel you in with a techno screen, though, if you could only yeah, have yeah. one or the other. Yeah, I take off the wheels. As long as I got that infotainment screen, hook up a battery to it. I'm a good... I'm in speakers. I'm good. <laughs> Give him a golf cart and an iPad, and he's a happy camper. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, those two go very nicely together. The... Um, I, I mean, I, I just, yeah, it's just got a nice feel. Got, you know, we're both sharing the armrest here. You can also see there's still, you know, ample space between both of our arms. Um, again, I love the captain's chairs in the rear. Um, had a custom uh, high top van for years. And, uh, you know, I know that technically the only seat that moves all the way forward is on the passenger side. Well, I'll tell you what, my two girls would be in that left side in a heartbeat. They just walk right around through the center. They don't use the folding seat. They just, that's why you have a center pass-through like that. Oh, okay. You know, so that to me would not be any big deal. I don't care which side seat goes up or if they both do or whatever. You just walk through the middle. Well, you do have a third row, so you can yes. fit two to three kids in the third row. And then you put two more in the middle row and then two up front. I mean, you've got a seven. potentially seven-seat passenger yeah. capacity. Did I mention I love, love this heated steering wheel? Yes, you did. 
right after you complained about it being too hot. <laughs> that was earlier on another review. So, but yeah. Oh, you, is that on another review? But you've got I'm the air missing. conditioning on like meat locker in here, so that's yeah. why well, uh, I'm if, looking for. I'm just going to start. It feels kind of good. Going to put a fire pit in the back <laughs> and uh, you know, try that out. It's later. big enough. So. All right, um, we're going to pull over to the side here, and I'm going to ask Nathan to get out, and I'm going to leave. Uh, no! <laughs> okay, this is kind of cool, and Nathan will show you this a little bit later. The shifter is a little bit different, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm stopped. All I have to do is push the button that says P for park, and there we are. We're all set. Do you notice that the P disappears on the shifter? I did. I saw that. And then it shows but it up. Show, but it shows up on here. You'll see it in the, in, in the video, but yeah. it, it, it is very, very different. Uh, but you, you take about 30 seconds to acquaint yourself, and then you're good. Yep. All right, so we're going to do a 0 to 60 here. Okay, so once you have it in reverse, you don't need to push the side button to shift into drive, which is nice. All right, so here we go. We're going to get back out on the road. And I'm going to turn the climate control off. I'm looking for the traction control button, but it's not right up here, so we're just going to leave that on. All right, you ready? In three, two, one. to do it one more time all right so now we're doing paddle shifters this vehicle is in demonstration mode connected by onstar's high speed 4g connection press the blue onstar button to learn all more. right three two one go Do another zero to sixty, and, uh, and then do a little brake test. And fifty and sixty. Oh, that's good braking. It well, was not emergency braking, but very, very, uh, very sure. Uh, wheels didn't pull at all. Everything just hung right in there. 